Yes, 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 guys. Welcome back to another episode of Vegans and Bitches. I am your host, Kaya. Now, in today's episode, guys, we got called to Orchard's Grocer. Y'all know what that is? That's a vegan deli slash supermarket in New York City. But in this episode, y'all, we're going to be tasting this good-ass vegan grub that they got that's going to be new on the menu. So without further ado, guys, roll that intro. <laughs> It's that brand new way. No, my dreams are tired of me because I ain't slept in days. Then we kick it to with that paper. I love the change. Poking smell, fresh as hell. Moving like I'm big and bad. It's that brand new way. No, my dreams are tired of me because I ain't slept in days. Yes, 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 guys. So I am here with Nora, the general manager of Orchard's Grocer. And I just want to ask what are some of the pros and cons that you have faced with having a deli? and a supermarket meshed into one. Running the grocery store is so much fun. We get to, we know all the new products, all the like fun new vegan and products that are coming out. So I think a major pro is that we have this kind of like preview of what's coming. That way our customers get to try it, our staff gets to try it. Um, you know, turn 45 kind of. <laughs> basically, not basically ahead of the game. That's definitely one of my favorite oh, no. parts of this job. Is just knowing what's coming out, getting to try new fun vegan stuff, and just, you know, being a part of the community that's pushing the vegan food. Yeah, it's definitely gone. Basically, there's no harm. This is just this, this everything. This is just one good thing together. I think it's actually brilliant. I think it's smart. You can come in here, you can go shopping, and you can get food. So what actually inspired you to center everything around vegan? So as far as the origin of our vegan store, you know, we're, we're it's multifaceted. There's no one answer, you know. We're definitely vegan for the animals, you know, um, but we're also vegan for the future, you know, vegan for the environment. Not a strict one, one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's so many reasons to go vegan or to even just Please be yeah, yeah, you know. So we definitely are here for people who are on whatever step of that kind of journey. You know, we want people to come in who think they've never had a vegan meal before in their lives, and we want people to come in who've been vegan for 20 years. And I just want to say thank you from me, Aww, from thank everybody, you. <laughs> thank you for everything that you guys are doing. Yes. And I'm just excited, and I cannot wait to get into this food rub that I know y'all got going on. Yeah. Thank so thank you. you, thank you, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming, no problem. Alright guys, so like I told you, we got asked to come here to try out these new, good, great vegan eats, and I'm about to get into it and let y'all know what it's hitting for. So, we're going to start with this. She said it's a house-made tofu chicken sandwich with cold slaw, and you see all the sauce that's on there. Get a good, nice, good old look at that. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and get into it because that's what I'm here for. All right? Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The sauce on here is doing everything it's supposed to do. All right? The coleslaw is good. I don't even go crazy for coleslaw. And, to be honest with you, I don't be going crazy for tofu either. But this tofu is actually really good. It's breaded up nice. Mmm. Mmm. This whole thing together is really good. Very good. Good. See all that. Y'all see that tofu in it? Y'all see how it's breaded up nice? Y'all see how it's layered nice? Anything that got layers got me. Anything that got layers got me because I know I'm going to eat it, I'm going to be full, and it's going to hit. It's going to hit. So I'm here for this. If y'all pull up here, make sure make sure y'all get the Georgie. That's cool. It's called the Georgie. The Georgie. All right. Now, we're going in for the mac and the cheese. Now, I know y'all see that on top. That's the bacon bites on it. That's the bacon. But, but y'all see the cheese on the side too, right? Y'all see the cheese on the side too, right? Yeah, they knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. All right, I'm excited for this. Any kind of mac and cheese that has breadcrumbs on top, I think is lit. Because I grew up with mac and cheese just being noodles and cheese seasoned, of course. But breadcrumbs, I feel like you up there. 
you in a restaurant. You know, what? You, this is what you came to do. You in school for this type thing. So let's get on, let's get everything in there. Let's get everything in there. The bacon, the cheese, the breadcrumbs, all of it. Yes, 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 let's go. You got me. Yes. That is good. Nah. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The second bite was just as good as the first. So that means all of this in here, all of this in here is good as hell. It's good as hell. I'm I'm here for all of it. I'm here for and honestly this is a this is a this is a hefty cup. This is a hefty cup. So if you come here and you get this, you might honestly be actually full off of this. But everything in this is actually hidden. I'm super deluxe excited about this. Why? Because I'm actually the first one, besides their team, to get into their new mozzarella sticks. Look at that bread. Look at that bread. Look at the look at the sauce. Look at how thick. These things is thick as hell. She said they use BioLife cheese, and honestly, I've been on a BioLife roll, so I'm not even gonna hold you. I already know this is about to hit. Ooh, yes, yes. Let's dip it. You gotta, you gotta do it right. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. You gotta do it right. Let's get to it. Everything I knew it would be. And more. And more. Nah. Nah. First of all, shout out to BioLife, but then shout out to Orchard Grocery for saying, hmm, hmm, let me do something with this, all right? Shout out to them for putting it together. This bread in, I love crunchy food. I love bread in that, that got crunched like this got me, all right? If you got good bread in, honestly, anything inside should be good. You can't mess it up. And if you do, then stay out the kitchen, all right? But everybody in the kitchen here, I need y'all to stay in the kitchen. Make sure y'all keep them there because they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Make sure y'all cop up on these mozzarella sticks. What's lunch without a little dessert? You know, and I'm, I'm somebody that's heavy on. I need me something a little sweet after a full course meal. After I'm full and can't do no more, I do more, okay? I do more. And we got two. We got two to do. We got the peanut butter milkshake. This one actually has caramel and chocolate. You got a good old regular degula vanilla with caramel milkshake. Honestly, I love me some vanilla and I love me some caramel. So that's the one I'm actually going for first. Let's get it. Yeah. So it makes you question the non-vegan version of what you've been eating because it literally tastes exactly like it. It's like, what have I been drinking when I go to, you know, Carvel or something and I say, give me a milkshake and you say it's not vegan. But it tastes just like it. Some not adding up, some not adding up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Don't shoot the message. You probably know I like it to see it so like that, just, just, just like a Reese's Pieces buttercup, just like it. This, this, this is a, this is actually really good. My, my favorite chocolate is actually Reese's. So the, the drink form, you know, I'm here for it. And we're gonna top it off with a little bit of Sanzo sparkling water. Who, who don't like sparkling water? Why get water when it can sparkle? Why not, right? And why not? Oh, okay. I felt the sparkle. I felt the sparkle. I get it. I get it. This is cute. This is cute. This is really refreshing. They have other flavors, but this one is at this one is actually really good. It's doing what it's supposed to do. I actually feel like I just grew up ten times more than what I already was. And I'm already always on ten. So for me to wake up already after drinking this when I'm already on ten. Somebody better come get me. Somebody better come get me. All right, guys, so we're at the end of the episode, and I hope I persuaded you guys enough to make sure y'all pull up to Orchard's Groceries, not only for the great eats that you've seen here, because they got plenty more, but also for the grocery items that they have here. You can come here, get all 
your vegan groceries, and then leave with some good ass eats. Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe, hit that little bell right there so you're notified every single time I'm on YouTube. And you guys already know, throw them bees up, man.